7.22 in the second spot is Nathan Wolf in the three machine. Back in third. Right there actually has a 46 machine. Looks like of Dylan Rafferty. Rafferty now trying to work down there. side. That's the 41 machine. That is Michael Rafferty in the car number 41 now working in the number two spot. In third right now is the 46 machine of Dylan Rafferty. Here right now up front is the 722 of Jaden McDowell, your race leader. McDowell down the front straight away, picking up where he left off last night. Your race is for the two spot. The 41 of Rafferty has got it right there. The 46 of Rafferty wants it, so there you go. It's a Rafferty duel. Up front right now, your leader is McDowell, leaving right where he left off last night. The 12 hour pull for Murfreesboro, Tennessee, but then there's the Kansas City drivers. Michael Rafferty and Dylan Rafferty side by side battled off at turn number two. It is Michael with that advantage for the second spot. Dylan Rafferty in the 46 hit back in the third position off of the turn number four. It's gonna be two to go, says the flagman Jason Van Sickle back on the flag stand after taking a night off last night. Put him back to work tonight. The 7-2-2 headed for turn number three. That is Jaden McDowell. He's gonna come around, see white flag waiting for him this time. One more to go. And then it's the Rafferty duel for the number two spot. Michael has got it, Dylan is chasing. Oh, oh. treble, treble on the 722 of McDowell, slowing on the exit of turn number two. That'll give the Rafferty's one two spot as the checkered flag will wave. It'll be Michael that picks up the win. So Michael Rafferty, your winner. Dylan Rafferty second. Riley Klim in the 9C comes home third, and Nathan Wolf in the three comes home in fourth. And then it'll be the 96 of Dylan Bush. Tough break for that 722 of Dana McDowell out of Murfreesboro, Tennessee. He raced number two, Roddy. Presented, we're going to go by presented by O'Reilly Auto Parts. O'Reilly Auto Parts getting the o -O -O O'Reilly Auto Parts. 14 is Brian Kumpart out of Madrid, Iowa. The 99 is Josh May from Des Moines. Route two, number 45 is Cody Heck out of Grinnell. The 46Z is Brian Azim from Ames, Iowa. Corey Sonner out of Polk City. The 47's inside the next row. Ben George to the outside from Altoona, the 4G. And your final starter is Garrison Anderson, the 9, from the big city of Huxley. So it sounds like you're getting the communication over there. You're going to need a hook from the rear. So something broke in the rear of the 722. How, how do I, why do I feel like we caused that? Talking about the backup car that they have. It's a good thing they brought the back of car. Looks like they're going to be putting it to use. So, Hoagland Auto Plaza, Levi Hoagland driving the Hoagland Auto Plaza record. We'll give a nice little assistance over there on the back straightaway. So, anytime you need a tow here in Marshalltown, call Hoagland Auto Plaza at 641-752-0027. That's 641-752-0027. I was say, you don't say zero, zero. Nobody will know what you're talking about. Simple, easy number to remember. Trust me, if there's any time I need a tow in Marshalltown, it's usually Hogan Auto Plus, and usually they're the ones that come in tow. So it looks like we're getting ready to go to the green. Nate's up here laughing. I told you he would tell me what how that's. I knew he was watching. I knew he watched the entire night last night because uh, I got home and uh, I don't remember. He goes, I stayed up the whole night. I go, well, good. You stayed up. Can you do it tonight? Going for two in a row, back to back, making the whole show. Yeah, and all those people that are tuning in on Full Racing, we thank you for tuning in and We'll try to get to as many shout-outs as we possibly can. I seem to get a lot more shout-outs than Rodney. Rodney usually gets shout-outs because it's his, uh, it's his son or his wife, and one of the two is probably going to kick his butt when he gets home. Nah, it was fine. Was she asleep by the time you got home? Yeah. So you, you were safe at least at that point. All right, here we go. Off turn number four. Green flag coming out. He race number two. Sonner immediately goes down to the bottom, tries to move up several spots. Going to get shuffled back in the corner. Out in front of the 99, Josh May out of Des Moines. Josh, May. 
Trying to bring him around. Josh Mayer, leader in the 99. You got Brian Zeem, that 46 Z car, sitting in the second spot. Comfort, the 14, sitting in third. And then it is the 4G, Ben George, the 47, and Corey Saunders. They're side by side. Josh May, though, in the 99, sits in the number one spot. Zeem in second, Comfort in third. Sonner and George. This is they'll come by for a lap number two, and still Josh May your leader. But here comes Zeem. Zeem looks to the inside, down in one and two. Zeem's gonna show him the nose and now show him the door handle. He's gonna give him a try in three and four. Zeem's on the bottom, May's up a bit. Rolling it off the corner, it's gonna be May and Zeem side by side at the line. Side by side and down to the corner goes to the 99 to Josh May on the outside. The 46 Z and Zeem on the inside. Last time it was three one hundredths of a second at the line. What will it be this time as the green will go high in the air? We've got two to go. This time it's Josh May with a full lead. Zeem in second, George in third. Then it's Sonner, Kumpart, and then it is the nine of Gannett, uh, Garrison Anderson. Corey Sonner, the 47, trying to move up into that number three spot. He'll go to the bottom for the challenge. Stick the 4-7 up there. That's your best battle right now. The 47 of Sonner, the four of George. The four of George. Back there side by side with Sonner for that number spot. As they'll come off and of turn number four, it will be to the checkered flag. And the win. And your winner will be the 99 Josh May. Second goes to the 46 C of Ryan Z. Third, give it to Ben George in the 4G at the line. And we'll go to the 47 of Sonner in fourth and fifth. We'll go to Brian Kumpart in car number 14. In your O'Reilly Auto Park Heat Race number two, there are your mod lights. So up next will be Regular Radio's IMC Sport Mod Heat Race number one, presented by Avila Bank and Central State Bank. On the pole, last night's winner in the car number 21, the Lubric Mr. Lubricants car number 21, that's Kelly, uh, Kelly Iowa's Cam Rivers. And outside of him, out of Jefferson City, Missouri, the 23M is Matt Spees. Brady Hilmer out of Dicer, the 22 JR's inside throw two, and McGuire to Young, the 30M to the outside. Row number three is... Speedy Bray, Braden Carter in the 0-1 from Oskaloosa, and the 93 S from Triple Missouri is Chad Shaw. Rob Jennings out of Boone, the 37 inside, row number four, Shane Paris, his partner, the 17th seed to the outside. Looking for the green this time off of turn number four. The foot is ready to hit the loud pedal. We are green off of four for eight laps of distance here in New York. IMCA Sport Mods presented by Rookie Radio. So they go down into turn one and two. It'll be Reimers in the number one spot. Here comes Hilmer, the 22 junior. Hilmer will put the number 22 junior in the number two spot. Here comes Speedy Bray, Brady Carter in the zero one. But right now, lap number one, it's Reimers, Hilmer, then Spees, and then it's DeYoung and Carter. Reimers out in front. That is your lead car down into turn number three. He's already put a gap on the rest of the field, leaving them to fight for the scraps. Reimers at the line, takes it across. Hilmer running second. And Spee's at the three spot. Off of turn number four, it is the 21 of Reimers, the 22 junior Brady Hilmer, 30 of McGuire to Young, the 01 of Sweeney Bray, Brady Carter, the 17C of Shane Pierce, the 93 double S, the 23, uh, 23 machine, the 23M, that speed, uh, speeds in the 23M, 37 of Rob Jennings this time, we're halfway home, four down, four to go, Rodney. Reimers trying to get it home right where he has it out in front. Hilmer, the 22 junior. DeYoung now has the 30M up. He's stocking from the number three spot. He'll set his sights on your number two car. That is Hilmer. DeYoung trying to take a look underside. Can't get it there that time. Right now your race leader is the 21 of Reimers, but the battle's on for second between Hilmer, the 20 junior, and the 30M of McGuire DeYoung. Give it to Magoo, McGuire to Young. He's got the number two spot on the exit, and Hilmer's not gonna go away. Hilmer back to the inside with two to go. They'll go down in three and four, or down in one and two. You've got DeYoung and Hilmer side by side. Then you had Carter and Paris side by side for a moment. White flag out, one to go this time for Reimers. One more time around, Reimers throws it into one and two. He's got this one to himself. McGuire to Young now has the two spot. And the 22 junior of Brady Hilmer running third. They're all single file as they come.
come to the checker, it's gonna be Reimers. So your winner will be the 23-21 of uh, Cam Reimers. McGuire and Young comes home second, Brady Hilmer in third. Fourth, we'll go to Speedy Bray Ray Carter, then to the 17 to C of Shane Paris. Picking up there in the uh, Bank Central State Bank Heat Race number one. By the way, the IMP Sport Mods, they're paying $1,000 to win tonight in the Sport Mods. That was the voices I was hearing in my head uh, and the other ear. Heat Race number two, it's, we call it the shadow of Herbie the Love Bug, because it's black. Her this Herbie's year. shadow. 53 of uh, Eddieville, Iowa's Logan Anderson. And outside of him, it is T.O. Tony Olson, the T23 from Cedar Rapids. Hollywood, Tommy Lathrop in the eight car inside row number two. Jocelyn Elmquist out of Boone, that's the 18. Hunter Clement in the 40HC out of Rhodes, Iowa. The 5.1 is Keith Simmons from Atro. Sam Weeb in the 198 out of Dysart. And Garrett Nelson, Osceola, the 95 in, rounds out the field. So Drunk Curl Melissa's watching in home. Also John and Sandy Timps are watching down from Florida. So good you guys are tuning in. Also Warren Buss is listening to the Fox Bin. That's what he says. We're going green off the floor. All around one and two the first time. Anderson through the middle. Company up on the high side trying to take a look up there. The T23. Gonna have to set it back and do the chasing from second. He looks underneath now at the line. Olsen looks to the inside in that T23, but it's still the shadow of Kirby the Love Bug in the 53 event. Logan Anderson, your leader. Logan Anderson will lead it off. You're leading up lap number two. In second is Tony Olsen, the T23. Jocelyn Elmquist in that car number 18. So Joss the boss right now running in third. Back in that four spot is that 5-1-1 of Keith Simmons. And it is Hollywood Tommy Latham, but he's got company of Sam Weaver in the 198. Oh, Elmquist the ball guy crossed up, and she about had some cars in her lap. The dice and slice it deep into the field, but right now it's Anderson and Olsen. They pulled away. Everybody else is bunched up. Olsen dropped that right rear off the top side of two that time as he's up there flirting with danger. Your leader, Anderson, into one and two. Olsen right behind him. Running in the number three spot, Elmquist, the 18. And we got trouble a parking lot in turn two. And the caution coming out over there in a turn two. That was Stream 517 turn two tonight. That's what I'm going to call it, or call it at least this time. Stream 517 turn two, and that was a Lacey wreck. That goes out to my friends Chris and Lacey watching from Michigan. A Lacey wreck. She's going to she's gonna, she's gonna go, hey, Foxman, that was just wrong that you did that. But that was a Lacey wreck, and Chris is laughing, I know. Shout outs to wonderful people all around the great country. I seem to be more popular than you right now. I was going to say, you've got them covered coast to coast there. I do, actually. And, and places in between. I'm waiting for someone out in the mountain time zone to go ahead. Hey, Foxman, give me a shout out. We need a last That's, about the, only to that's only about the time, the only time zone I haven't checked in for yet. So, yeah, if we get Alaska and Hawaii, you know, then, then we might. Again, be sure and get your hoodie, get your T-shirt tonight. T-shirt's 20 bucks, hoodie's 30. I did get the message from my friends up in Michigan. Chris goes, Lacey said, hey. And he said, yeah, I am laughing. So there you go. Just proves you know your friends. We also know that we're a big fan because apparently John Gill last night he got done racing. He said he, he went home instead of jumping in the shower, he turned on the replay for Flo and listened to us last night. So, I thought he just meant he put that on to help him go to sleep. I don't know. 
I have been told that we do put some people to sleep, but that's only because they fall asleep watching us. So my friends in Michigan, they fell asleep watching us last night. I said, well, you didn't make it through the whole night. She goes, no, I, we fell asleep on the recliner in the couch. And then had to make it up to the bed. Well, the yellow light is down. We're looking to go racing. It's the Love Bug Shadow out in front. Logan Anderson sitting there. He's got the T23, Tony Olson parked on the back door. Here we go. We're going to pick up the pace as they bring him into the front straight away. We are green again. We are green again. And they go down and turn on it too. It is Logan Anderson. That 53 is still working that high side. Tony Olson kind of working that middle to the bottom side of the speed with the T23, but just can't get the grip on the exit of turn number two. Here comes off of turn number four. Well, five down, three to go. It's still Anderson, your leader. Olsen in second, even in third. Then it is the 95 in of Nelson. That is Garrett Nelson, 95 in, right now running in the four spot. Then it's Hollywood Tommy Lee. Hunter, uh, Hunter Clement running out your field. At this time, Rodney, we got two to go. Two more times around. Logan Anderson trying to take you flag to flag. Olsen now has dropped back a few car lengths. He'll watch him from the two spot. Weeben sits in third. Everybody single file this time by. White flag out from our, fla our flagging electrician. We're gonna call him the flagging electrician. When he's racing, he's the flying electrician, but when he's flagging, he's the flagging electrician. He's a van sickle. He'll work your way off of turn number four, will be your field. It'll be to the checkered flag. It'll be the 53 of Logan Anderson, your winner. Second, Tony Olson. Third, Sam Weaven. Fourth, we're going to 95 in of Garrett Nelson. And well, Hollywood and Hunter are getting together over in turn number four. So see, the, the Viking fumbled it up. How did I know you were gonna go there? Have to. Tommy is, is a dedicated Viking fan. He's also enjoys his Hawkeyes, and I'm not gonna say anything bad about the Hawkeyes, because I'm kind of a Cyclone fan, but live in a Hawkeye household, so I'm used to the Hawkeyes part of it. But he is a Viking fan through and through, and that's why his car is wrapped in the Viking colors, and. Uh, Unfortunately, just uh, like Daddy fumbled it up over there. Here, race number three coming on the speedway, Rodney. We got the K3. That's Kyle Olson on the pole. Outside of him will be the 7V from Altoona. That is Tyler Inman. From Bakersfield, California, the 27K Sander Keelan inside row two. Justin Jones, the 8J. 7M is Steve McLaughlin from Newton, the 117. That is Dylan Van White from Oscos. And your final starter is the 2W from Liberty, Illinois, Reed Wolfmeyer. Do want to give a shout out to. Uh, Tim Ward's mom, she, Amy, she's watching in Arizona. Sunny Arizona, probably. But she's watching in Arizona. So she'll be supporting that 4TW tonight in the modifies in the 19J in the stock car. And the 82 in the modified in stock car as well. Flag is out. They come off at turn number four. Side by side of the Inman and Kyle Olson. Olson looks to the inside. Inman on the outside. Olson will slide it up. Inman will do the crossover at the line. It will be Inman by three one hundredths of a second at the line. Inman trying to take the top spot or still holding on to the top spot. Olson though refuses to go away. Some contact may have been Wade going into three. Olsen now looks to the inside of Inman down the front straightaway. Now he's going to pull in behind. He'll set his sights on Inman through one and two. Look at back that number three spot, Justin Jones, the 8J. He's trying to work his way up to your front two. It's still Inman and Olsen. Inman, your leader, Olsen in second. Then you've got the seven, AJ, or sorry, 8J of Austin Jones. Or sorry, Justin Jones. Out of Bemidji, Minnesota, then it is. Here comes Dylan Van Wyk. Van Wyk looks to the inside, though, in the 117. As Van Wyk looks to the inside for the lead, Olsen dipped his nose into the inside of Inman once again for the race lead on the racetrack. Right now, it's still Inman, Olsen, Van Wyk. Last night, led the first seven laps, had an encounter, and the, and the uh, caution come out. He lost power on the restart. He's running back in third in this heat race. We have got five down, three to go for the car number 7B of Tyler Inman. 
And he cannot shake Olsen. Olsen now puts the nose underneath out of turn number two. Olsen again throws down the challenge. He's going to go to the inside. Can't get the bumper out in front. So it's still Inman out in front that time by. Oh, Inman. Your race leader, Kyle Olsen in second. Van Wyk in third. Jones in fourth. And that will bring out the caution. Got a little hung up on the uh, top side there. So the yellow flag will come out. And we will have the two laps to go here in this uh, Rigged Radio's IMC Sport Mod Heat Race number three. Well, I don't know if you happen to see it, but the 8J of Justin Jones literally dropped the right rear tire over the top of one and two. I thought we were going to lose him, you know, but he kept it on. You know, there's a song from Molly Hatchett. It's called Flirting with Disaster. Are they flirting with disaster up on the high side already? They are indeed working that cushion, moving it up there, and finding the very razor edge. One thing I do know is you don't want to flirt with disaster up on the high side of Marshalltown. You might not like the consequences that come with it. Bit of a drop off on the other side. Now, like I said, if this is the first time you're tuning into Float this year, we kind of did some work during the offseason the last year after the racing season was over, kind of brought the racetrack back to its original spot, basically, and got it back into the original quarter mile configuration here at the Marshalltown Speedway in the Central Iowa Fairgrounds. And because the neighbors to the north were not very happy, we keep going back and back and back and back into their territory. So. So we're trying to avoid that. Well, you got four left coming back through the green. Inman will take him there. Olsen, Van Wyk. Olsen looks to the bottom. Van Wyk to the top side. He's up hanging on the rim. The 7V, Tyler Inman going to work off turn four. Inman will lead it off at turn number four to the white flag and one lap to go for that 7V car. They'll work their way down into one and in two they go. As Inman and in then it is the K3 of Kyle Olsen in the K3. And they will come off at turn number four. And we do the checkered flag in the win of the 7B of Vandenberg. And it's Kyle Olsen in the K3, the, 17, the 117 of Dylan Van Wyk and the 8J of Justin Jones. Roddy Gotcha Field. I believe up next will be the first of five last chance heat races for your three automotive into truck repair IMCA stock cars. And indeed, they are getting ready to roll off the speedway on the pole in the stock car division. Will be the 92X. That is Buckwild, Buck Shafroff in the 92X out of Orion, Iowa. Outside of him is the gas band, Caden Carter in the 1X machine from Oskaloosa. The jammer, Jimmy Gustin, inside road number two. The 19, Steve Meyer, his company. The 94 sits on the outside. Amy Ward's favorite driver, T-Dub, Tim Ward in the 19 to J machine out of Hardcore, Iowa. And the 21D out of Iowa Falls, Daniel Drury. Nick Buckarama, the 12X, is inside row four, and Danny Kavanaugh's alongside. And your final starter in the 34 Junior out of La Crosse, Wisconsin, Sean Claps Jr. out of La Crosse, Wisconsin. The batting number, two. You remember two, Rodney? Two is going to be what we're going to be talking about the whole time. Two, two moving on to the heat race, and then we'll have it. Two last chance bees later, and we'll take two. So the batting number tonight is two for your stock cars. Setting up for tonight's $5,000. 50. 50 lap feature event. So your top two here survive in advance. Carter, your leader, and then it is Schaffer off in second, but here comes the jammer, Jimmy Gustin, wants to work his way to the number two spot. Put the jammer to number two. Schaffer off back to third. Meyer is fourth, then it is Ward in fifth. Right now, your top two cars are Carter and Jimmy Gustin. We only got eight laps to go on this one. Kate Carter, the one X is on the point. Jimmy Gustin hanging on to that final transfer spot. He's got heat coming on the backside. Steve Myers on the attack, Schaff Ross with him. Those two desperately trying to move up at least one spot, get their car on to the next round. But it is the 1X of Caden Carter and Jimmy Gustin, the 19, 
holding your transfer spots. The one exit feed in Carter, your leader off the of turn number four. The 19 of the chamber, Jimmy Gus, and it's Buck Schaffer off the 92X, the first car out. Then you've got the battle between the Steve Meyer in the 94, the 19J of a Tim Ward racing down the back straightaway. It is still those guys as this time by halfway home, five down, five to go. Your leaders work around the bottom of one and two. Carter and Gustin looking to transfer on. Shafroth, the 92X third, Steve Meyer still fourth. Now Meyer gonna go to the bottom. He'll take a look, but can't get the 94 up a spot. He needs to go too. One X, Caden Carter, still your leader, Jimmy Gustin in second, the 19. The 92 X, the Buck Shafroff in third. Got to get one more spot. Steve Meyer, though, dip toeing that high side, trying to work his way through. But time is running short as there's only three to go for the Gasman, Caden Carter, and the Jammer, Jimmy Gustin. And they've got a little separation between them and Buck Wild in the 92. And they have been up there since the drop of the green. Those two indeed have breathing room out in front, one and two, as we come to a green held high, two to go. Two laps to go. Caden Carter in the lead in the 1X, but Jimmy Gustin gets a little closer down in one and two. Shafrop right now running in third. He's got the 94, Steve Meyer trying to creep by. White flag is out one to go as the 21D of Daniel Drury will pull the 21D machine to the infield. One to go for the gas man, Caden Carter. So Carter and Gustin have been there since we started. They're gonna bring it home there, it would look like. They'll go to three and four. Caden Carter, the one X, gonna ride it off the rim and down to the checkered flag. So he will move on. The 19 of the jammer, Jimmy Gustin, will go with him. Those two move on to another try. Heat race number two in your Drury Automotive and Truck Repair IMC stock car. On the pole will be the 1S out of West Dallas, Wisconsin. That is Charlie Shinetti. And outside of him out of St. Peter, Minnesota, the 18X is Daniel Ekblad. Who number two on the inside will be the 11X as TBJ, Tom Berry Jr. from Des Moines. And outside of him, the Chelsea Charger from Chelsea, Iowa, the 99D, Damon Murdy. Who number three, the 11R, that's Brandon Richards out of Madrid, Iowa. And the 22, Tanner Allen out of Springfield, Iowa. Fourth row on the inside is 71 at David Brandy's out of Willowton, Iowa. The 90.5 is Tommy Fain out of Abilene, Texas. And your final starter, the Iceman from Martell, Dusty Vest in the 20V. Well, this is going to end up again. The betting number is two. So two moving on to tonight's 50 lap A main. They'll have a void of B main. Then we'll have two B mains later on. We'll take the top two out of each of those B mains. That'll get us our final four cars that will set our field for 24 cars for 50 laps. $5,000 win, $500 to start tonight's stock car feature event. King of the high banks. Last year's winner, Jeffrey Abbey, already locked in because he's one of the top 10 drivers locked in to the race. Caution light is off. We get a caution. I might go through those top 10 drivers that were locked in from last night as we get ready to go to the green this time off of four. They'll inch their way around turn four into the front straightaway. We are green as they send them down into one and two for the first time. Cincinnati, the one up front, the one S. Now to the outside, the 18X of Ekblad. Ekblad takes it up to the top shelf. He's looking to bring it off there down the front straightaway. Give him the lead, the 18X of Ekblad. That 18X of Ekblad, your leader. And then, oh, Ekblad goes around, and TBJ checking up there. And we're going to see. That might bring out a – he's got a runner. We're going to stay green on the racetrack, Ronnie. It is Demon Murdy, the 99D, your leader. Richards in second. Barry now, the first car out, and the 11X machine. Demon Murdy, the 99D, he'll show the way down the back straight away. Braden Richards, the 11 R's, their slider coming up. Oh, clear up to the top side. Hang on to it. Worked their way down to one and two. Goes Murdy. Barry in the 11 X and the 11 R of Richards. Now it out. Off of turn two. It is Barry right now in the second spot. Richards wants that second spot back. This time by, we've got four down and six to go. For the Chelsea Charter, David Murdy, the 99 D. TBJ in second. And that's the only two that really matter. First and second. Everybody else is done for the night. 
So off of turn number four, Damon Birdie. Now TBJ has put some distance into that number two spot. Oh, Birdie, your leader, Barry in second. Now Brady's has worked his way to the 71 car to the third spot, but that doesn't really matter. Because hopefully the top two are moving on. And right now that is Birdie and Barry, and they've got a little separation between Brady's and the 11R of Brandon Richards as they work their way down. We got only four laps to go on the on the pylon. That means we got one mile of racing to go. Actually, this time it'll be three quarters of a mile to go as we've got three to go, Rodney. Murdy, no trouble, out in front. He's out cruise control. Tom Perry Jr. He'll chase him around. The 71 of Brandy's desperately trying to get into the mix, but just can't quite get it done. And behind that, they're still slicing and dicing, but it's only for pride. Well, back here in those spots, those will actually be a spot to go to the B main tonight for those guys back there. But right now, it's Murdy, your leader. Barry in second, Brady's in third. So with uh, Murdy and uh, Barry will go to the A main. Brady's, Fane, and then it's, uh, I think it's Viss and Brand uh, Richards right now battling it out for that spot to go to the B main tonight. As the green white flag is out, we got one to go for the Chelsea Charter name and Murdy. And Murdy's been in control here. He's going to bring it around for checkered flag's going to be out and waiting. You'll see the 99D moving on. That's David Murdy. Going with him is going to be the 11X of Tom Barry Jr. Those are your two transfers. Do you want to give a shout out? I know Dustin Jarrett's watching from Hawaii. So there we go. We got the Hawaii. DJ's out in Hawaii. We got Hawaii, and now we just need Alaska. And the Mountain Time Zone. We still need somebody from out in the Mountain Time Zone, like Colorado and stuff like that. So. He raced number three for the Drury Automotive. He raced number three. The 93 of Michael Jeanette out of Killick. The 22 are Todd Reitzler from Grinnell. The C29 of Gary Korn from Marshalltown. The WW1 Ricky Alvarado at Hotchins, Colorado. Jesse Sabi the 99 is inside row number three. Dave Atcher, the two, is on the outside. Braxton Franks is the eight car from Cedar Rapids inside row four. And Dan McIntoo, the 92, is to the outside. The 77M out of boom. Jeff Mueller rounds out your field. So to clarify, all the stock cars will get a chance to, that didn't qualify to the heat race will go to a B main. So everybody will get a chance to run one more chance. But again, only the betting number is two. I'm getting yelled at in the ear, or the voices in the ear is going at it again here. So, so. Yes, Dan okay. So a couple of nicknames out there. We've got the 99, Crazy 99, Jesse Sobbing with the Hamburg Hustler, and Dan McIntoon out there. We're going to ready to go green off of four. It'll be Michael Jeanette, the first one, that brings it down the front straight away. The 93 parks it right in the middle as they slide around one and two. Now he climbs up the elevator to the top shelf. Jeanette down the back straight away. Four across the track in the back straight. They're going to try to fit that through three and four. Not going to work. We got one around. Todd Reinsler, the 99 at Jesse Sobbing, and the C29 at Garrett Korn, the two Dave Batcher, the eight is Braxton Franks, and the 77 at Mueller. We got one sitting over the yellow is out. Another person out in Hawaii is watching. George Tai is out there watching out in Hawaii. So again, help people in Hawaii kind of telling me that, hey, we're watching out there. That's awesome. You know, just not enough racetrack for the four cars there as they tried to uh, throw them through three and four. Ran out of racing room. We'll get them re-racked and stacked, and it'll be Jeanette. The 93. So run some of our track spots as we're under the Scotch and high meat food stores. Also in memory of Gil Sonner, O'Reilly Auto Parts, Night Sanitation, uh, Miller Bank, Central St. Bank, Coors Light, uh, Miller Light, H&F Distributing, Fisher Trucking, Spot on Calibration and Repair, and a local UW 93, IBW, uh, or sorry, Spot on Calibration and Repair, IBW Local 204, Independent Auto, 
Also, Big A Tire Center, Midstate Boring. KFJB 1230 AM and FM 93.9. And uh, Iowa's Best Country kicks on a 1.1. So Michael Jeanette, the 93 car, going to take it up to the top side, going to roll it down. We're going green again down the front straightaway. Jeanette will bring him to it. And then we'll bring it to the green off of the turn number four. They'll head off and down into turn one. I mean, Jeanette and the 93, your leader. The 22 R at Todd Reinsler sits in that second spot. The 99, Jesse Sobbing in third. Garrett Korn in the C29. Coming off of turn number four. Jeanette in the 93. He's still going to show the way. He'll take it up to the high side. We're rolling around two. Turn and burn into the back straightaway. Reitzler sitting in that last transfer spot, but not far off is Sobbing. Sobbing wants to get up and take that away. Here they come. Working their way down to 93. Bob uh, Michael Jeanette, your leader. Con Rice on the 22R in second, the 99 to Jesse Sobbing in third. Jeff Bugle in the 77M to C29 of Garrett Korn. Works their way around off at turn number four. We got it four down and six laps to go. So the 99 of Sabi trying around the bottom side. He'll slide it up in two. Now he'll fall into line. He'll take it down again. He's going to try to go over oh, there. Not, can't make it. Stick slides up behind. Uh, right now it is Jeanette. It's Reitzler, the 22 on the 99 of Sobbing, the 77 of Mueller, the C29 of Garrett Corn. Your top two, though. Those are your two moving on to the A. It is Jeanette. It is Reitzler. One and two. We're this time by six down, four laps to go. Jeff Mueller, the 77M, started shotgun on the field. He's got it up to the number four spot, but he's got a ways to go to make it work, and he's running out of time. Three to go, this time at the line. It's still Michael Jeanette, the 93, on the point. Right now it is the 93, and Jeanette, you lead to the 22 R. It's not right, sir. The 99 is sobbing. One, two, and three on the speedway. Rides or may have one more. There, the difference will be the starting spot for the feature event is this time by the green goes high in the air. Two to go for the 93 of Michael Jeanette. Todd Rice for the 22 are summing, hoping those two to get together, and he sneaks on by. Indeed he is, and I'm sure Reitzler can feel the heat coming. He's got company. He'll take it to the bottom side. He'll get a good look at him. White flag this time, one to go. Jeanette is still in the front. Reitzler following. Oh, right now, the 93 of Jeanette, the 22 on a ton. Reitzler, the 99 to Jesse Sobbing, the 77 of Mueller, the 92, the Hamburg Hustler, Dan McIntyre, the worked away off at turn number four. It will be to the checkered flag. Your winner will be the 93 of Michael Jeanette, second to Todd Reitzler, the 99 of Jesse Sobbing, Jeff Mueller, the 77, Dan McIntyre, the 92. Then it's Braxton Franks, and then Ricky Alvarado. We're up to heat race number four on the pole out of Logan's Port, the 69. That's Jonathan Logue. Chance Hollins will be to the outside. Clear Lake, Iowa driver, the six. But number two, it's Beaver Dam, Wisconsin driver. 20S is Brandon Schmidt in the 72H out of my Menlo, Iowa. It's the Flying Bomb Pop, Micaiah Heideball. The 5A, Tyler Pickett inside row three coming from Boone and Presley Harrington. Oshkosh, Wisconsin, the 24-H. Scotty Rice in the four out of Marshalltown, the 12-8 out of Annabos, Iowa, Gage Neal. And your final start of the 8E out of Dubuque is Mitchell Evans. Some more of your sponsors, ELH Power, Professional Power Washing, Velocity, also Cardinal Chevrolet. Carl Customs, 141 Speedway, the joyous seating, Tomcat Performance, Tom Emquist Towing, Fast Chefs. Quick performance, victory fuel, flow racing, and DE outdoor services, Tinsland Farms, 1 800 bets off. Got a sports betting problem? No judgment, just help. Here I will give call 1 800 bets off. We're going green off of four. Logue gets in a little sideways with some help right away, but he recovers down to the bottom. Logue works there. The 20S of Schmidt trying to poke underneath. We're going to go three across in the back straight away. Now Logue. Trying to slide it up there, running out of room. He's trying desperately to stay in those top two. Oh, uh, they worked their way down into one and two. Bomb Papa, Mikhail Heidebaugh works to the inside. You've got the Bobcat in the middle. you got Hollitz on the outside. Hollitz in the number one spot. Logue right now, the Bobcat sits in second, but the flying Bomb Cop, Mikhail Heidebaugh, sits in third. Then you've got Harrington out of Wisconsin. The Bobcat looks down inside of 
Hollitz as Mahidabal, or Hidabal, Makai Hidabal, that's an A2H, works to the outside. Go ahead, spit it out. I was trying to. Down the front straightaway, here comes your field another time. Hollins is still out in front of the six car, making it happen. Logue going to the bottom side. Now he'll slide it up across the track. He had it up with your leader for a moment, but all he needs to do is stay second. He'd like to put a little insurance in there if he can make it work. Off a turn to number four, and it will be the six of Chance Hollins, the 69 of Jonathan Logue. In the third spot, it's 72H and Micaiah Hyde of all the 24 is Will Harry, or sorry, Presley Harrington in that 24. The 20 of Brandon Schmidt, the 12 in Gage Neal. As they work off the speedway, we'll be halfway home. Five down, five to go for Highlands in the six. Logue sits in that second spot in the 69. The bomb pop, Micaiah Heideball sits back in third. He wants to get one more spot, but Logue able to put some pressure on Highlands down in one and two. Can't get it to stick anywhere else on the racing surface right now. We've got four laps to go this time for Hollitz in the six. Plenty of racing yet left in this one. Top two is what you're looking for. Hollitz working that high side, low going to the bottom and sliding up across the turn. So far, it's working. They're running one and two. Idleball still chasing in the three spot. Harrington and Neal, they are on the outside looking in. Three laps to go for Chance Hollis in that six car. The 69 of Jonathan Alogue sits in second. Heidelball in third. Harrington in fourth. Neal fifth. Sixth is Smith. Seventh is even on the speedway. Green's going to go high in the air. Two to go for Hollins. The Bobcat, Jonathan Alogue. He may get some pressure. Here in the final two laps with Harrington. It's going to throw it in deep. Done in one. He's running out of time. He's going to make the big move. He's going to try it. Harrington's thrown it into the bottom of the last two corners. Now it's Heidelbaum that's going to try it. He'll slide across the nose of Logue. Logue crosses over. And at the line, Logue by half a car. Oh, look by half a car. He knew Heideball was there. They ruffled a little bit. Heideball might not be so pleasurable. Harrington gets the Scotty free on now in the 24H car. Now Harrington looking to the inside. Checkered flag is out. It's Hollis, your winner. Second's going to go to the Bobcat. Oh, Jonathan Logue. What a crossover out of Logue to split the traffic and win the drag race back to the checkered flag. He raced number five of your Drury Automotive and Truck Repair IMC stock cars. It is Snelly Snellenberg, Devin Snellenberger in the 21X out of Pulaski, Wisconsin. And outside of him, out of Cartridge, Illinois, the 30C, it's Abe Holes. Todd Van Eaton, the V31 out of Orient, Iowa, is inside row two. Caden Reynolds, your driver out of Cedar Rapids, on the outside. Row number three will be the general from Iowa Falls, Troy Jeremich in the 01, and outside of him in the 45 from Pulaski, Wisconsin, it's Rod Snellenberger. From West Bend, Wisconsin, the 77X of Mike Clins and Luke Ramsey, from Bedford, Iowa, on the outside. And Russell Davy Jr., the four junior from Sumner, running out your field. I know, pain in the butt, Kelsey Saunders is watching at home. So, hi, Kelsey. I'm going to get the message. You've got such great nicknames for your friends. <laughs> got to have it sometimes. We're going green off of four. The 21X takes him down into. First time around, Schnellenberger will put it on the point. Plenty of challengers coming behind him. You've got your leader and you got the pack. Here they come down the front straight away. The 31, the V31 of Van Eaton takes a look. Oh, that time it was Devin Schnellenberger, your leader at the line, but off it's turn two. It is Todd Van Eaton in the Van Eaton Port V31. Your race leader second is at Devin is Snellenberger in the third spot. It is a Holes. It is Aiden Reynolds. Troy Jeremich as they now work the bottom. Interesting because the last season they work at the top. This time they're working the bottom. Rod Snellenberger goes around over in turn number two. We'll see if he gets it moving and he will look and look. He'll go. We'll stay green on the racetrack. Van Eaton Holes now into second. Devin Stillenberger now into third. Action is hot and heavy down the back straightaway. Van Eaton still showing the way. Hull sitting in that final transfer spot. He'll go to the high side. Trying to squeeze him out, but can't quite get there. Stillenberger. 
Well, right now it is the V31 of Todd Van Eaton, your leader in that second spot. He pulls the 30C, the 21X of Devin and Stanley Schnellenberger. Trying to work to the inside to take that spot away. We're halfway home. Five down, five to go. Oh, that Van Eaton Ford, V31, your race leader. Abe Holes and Devin Schnellberger side by side for second and third on the speedway. And only one of those cars will advance to the A main. The other car will go to the B. Hooking off a of turn number four. We've got four to go, Rodney. It is Van Eaton. It is Holes and Schnellenberger. Oh, that racing room getting pretty tight down the front straightaway between Schnellenberger and Holes. Out in front, still showing the way out there is Van Eaton. Here it comes again down the front straightaway. And that time Holmes has a good run. Paul's work of that high side into his liking there are a lane just higher than at the 21X of an Eminem Stilly Schnellenberger in that 21X machine that worked their way down to three and four. The general pulled into the infield, tough break for the general, as this time by the green goes high in the air. Two to go for Todd Van Eaton. The battle still heated up for second and third on the speedway between the 30 CMA pull, the 21X of Devin Snellenberger, or Devin Snelly Snellenberger, and the 21X will come down to three and four for the white flag this time. One to go, Rodney. I'm sure those two are tired of seeing each other out their window. They've been stuck together here for several laps. They are the last transfer spot if they can stay there. The battle is up. Van Eaton holds his second, Snellenberger third. Snellenberger's going to look to the inside now of Hulls. Hang on to it. Here we come out of turn number four. Checkered flag is out. Ah, Hulls manages to slide the 30C through along the rail in the wall. So Todd Van Eaton, the V31, he had the best seat out in front. But your race lap after lap, it's going to go to the 30C of Abe Holes gets your final transfer spot. Up next, the first of three in your tighter day in my left half by MC Modifieds. And on the pole with the 21CZ of Cole Sarnansky from Bidmark, Wisconsin. Outside of him from Kellogg, Iowa, that is David Brown of the 21. Bakersfield, California, Caden Cochran, the 23K, and Ricky Alvarado, Hotchkiss, Colorado, the WW1. 28 is Trevor Fitz out of Carmelo, California, and outside of him out of Hardcore, Iowa, the 4TW, Amy Ward's favorite driver, Tita up, Tim Ward. Zach Rollins out of Kellogg, the 2Z is inside row four. Trip Gaylord, the 7070, Lakewood, Colorado driver. And Greg Elliott, the 75 out of Webster City, rounds out your field to run through the other Marshall Town Speedway sponsors, Martin Marietta. They are now hiring PD Welding Solutions, United Rentals, Stealth Racing, looking for a brand new mower. See the great crew from Kellogg Lawn and Snow. They'll sell you a nice brand new grasshopper mower. It's good mowing season is right around the corner here in Iowa. Jana Fabrications, Quick Car Racing Products, Rugged Radios, The Toy Scout, also BW Outdoors Camp Chef, Tyron Damon by Love Tap, Luck Red, a Mexican Authentic Grill, got amazing. Mexican food, but they also got some amazing margaritas at La Corretta. Drury Automotive and Truck Repair, Performance Parts and uh, Bodies and Parts. You got Sunoco Race Fields, Precision Inc., Precision Performance, also Dirt Defenders. And uh, go down into turn three, Toby Case Hideaway, North Route, Dairy Queen, and Marshalltown for all your busted bars, Dilly Bars, and you have it, Team Bellini and Castro, uh, Freedom Performance, and also Dirt Defenders, as I mentioned. The original version of the song, you know how many times I had uh, memories of kiddo days back here at the Marshall Town Speedway with old Denny Greenbauer playing that song all the time. Chicken dancing the night away. I may or may not have that on my laptop. <laughs> that makes for some good fill-in time. It does indeed. Of course, also Chevrolet Perf uh, Chevy Performance, also Long Acres, our tech area sponsors down there in the wonderful infield. I want to thank all these great sponsors. Believe it or not, go on all these sponsors. Thank them for all their great support here at the Marshalltown Speedway. Without their support, H&H &H tiling, dozing, and excavating. I want to thank Racer Hugh, and he came out here and helped out and kind of bring the racetrack back to its spot here on the racing service. So I want to thank them as uh, well for all the great services here. Oakland Auto Plaza out here, one of our great records. you got Fisher Trucking. You've got Independent Auto come out with the records each and every race night. So without them, it just uh, wouldn't all come together here at Marshall Town Speedway. We just get to show up and be the entertainers. Or at least try to be, yeah. Yeah, it takes a it takes a whole crew, so you guys get to hear us and have to put up with us, but there's a bunch more out there that you don't know about. It makes everything happen here.
Let's see, t-shirts are on sale. $20 for the t-shirts, $30 for the hoodies. Go back there and pick up one of those uh, wonderful King of the High Banks t-shirts and hoodies back there. Concessions in here. He's got some wonderful foods. The Iowa Court Nuggets. I don't know what they are, but we're going to have to try some, maybe some of those next time. We're going to have to grab some of those. We tried the cheese curds. We tried the Wisconsin cheese curds last night. I may or may not have eaten most of them last night. But we got another great food down there. As always, the Speedway Diner is always open here on the race nights at the Marshalltown Speedway. You can go down to Critch. The great food down at the Speedway Diner. We also stop down at the beer stand, pick up some beer and Victory Fuel down there at the beer stand as well. Yeah, try that Victory Fuel. I saw it was a punch flavor, according to the can. A punch of hydration, if you will. Of course, the Modifieds tonight are 1,500 win in the Modifieds tonight, so 15. Hundred win in the modifieds tonight. I saw Jerry was saying on Facebook earlier today for the uh, stock cars, not only do they get the five foot trophy to take home with them, I loved how he said they get the Happy Gilmore size check as well. You know, it is Masters Week going on in Augusta National down there in Augusta, Georgia. I may or may, may not have been watching golf before I left the house. Now, there's something you talk about taking a good nap to. You put golf on. I, that's why I had to get out of the recliner and, out of, and get, come out to the racetrack because uh, chances are I was probably going to take a nap and you're going to be on your own. I've got your number. I, I can find it. Well, here we go. Two by two down the back straightaway. Heat race number one, ready to go to the gas pedal. Take them away. Green flag is coming out as they come down the front straightaway. It'll be Sarneski in the 21cc on the inside. David Brown, a.k.a. Blue Brown in the 21, works to the outside in that 21 car. Here comes the WW1, Ricky Averetto. He'll work the high side as well. The high side is Shuffle. It's Sarneski, David Brown. Then it is Alvarado. It fits your top four. So Sarneski trying to keep that car right around the bottom now. That's where he wants to run it. Up to the high side. The 21 of Brown taking a higher line around. He's taking the long way home. We'll see if it can work out for him. He's in the number two spot. Sarnaski, your leader, David Brown in second. Then you've got Alvarado in third, but here comes Tito. Tim Ward on the inside. Give the number three spot to Ward as Alvarado forded with some disaster on the high side of the exit of turn number two. Fitz will now look to the inside of Alvarado as Ward Huggy pulls the bottom down to three and four. Right now, your leader is Sarnaski. David Brown in Tito, Tim Ward, but here comes Ward. He's trying to chase down the 21 and David Brown down the back straightaway. Ward has that 4TW on the move. Your leader continues to work the submarine route down on the bottom. He'll take it around. Sarneski tries to pin it there. He's got Brown coming behind him and Tim Ward. That's your front three. After that, it's Alvarado and Fitz. Sarneski, your leader in the 21C. Z. David Brown, the 21, and then that's teed up. Tim Ward in the 4TW. The 28 is a Fitz. You've got a trip in or the 77 T machine there, as well as the WD1 of Ricky Alvarado. This time by, we're going to see the green going. And two to go this time for your leader, Cole Sarneski in the 21 CZ. They are stacking up for that number four spot. Up in front, though, it's Ward trying to take a look in second. Down the back straight away they'll go. He's got another lap to size him up if he's going to get him. Meantime, out in front, Sarneski says, you guys battle for it. Sarneski, indeed, will lead him to the white flag and one to go. He's what? Seeing that battle behind him is the 21 of the round and 14 up at Tim Ward. They'll work their way around it. Off of turn three and four, it will be to the checker. It'll be Cole Sarneski to the win. Second will go to David Brown. Third will go to T-Dub, Tim Ward. And then it's Trip Gaylord to 77 and then Trevor Fitz in the 28. Okay, just to point something out there, David Brown was in the silver car. Brown was in the uh, blue and white 21, and the 21 with the blue and black sides on it, that was Sarnasty. Right, yeah. Not confusing at all there. He raced number two for your uh, modifieds on the pole. 
in the 11X. That's a lethal chassis. 11X out of Des Moines. It is TBJ, Tom Murray Jr. outside of him. It's also an 11 car from Boone. That is Isaac Malicode. The ATK of Matt Clins is inside row number two. And Ethan Broxma sits to the outside. Oh, he's in his own car tonight. Nice. Row number three on the inside of the 82, Dick McBurney from Boone. And outside of him will be the 7 Chevrolet from Norwalk, Jared Timmerman. Kelly Drury, the 38C, Brandon Schmidt, the 20, and Rod Clement, the 40RC. Here we go. Looking for the green off of turn number four. We are green. TBJ going to slide it from the bottom to the top. Malico dips to the inside. So does Broxma in the 111. Ethan Broxma now in the 111. Will work there, but it'll be Malico. Broxma and Barry. If you don't got an 11 in your number, you're not at the front. You got a bunch of ones up there trying for the one spot as they head down the back straightaway. Slicing and dicing through three and four. Coming back to the line another time. It is Broxma followed by TBJ. Broxma followed by TBJ, Tom Barry Jr. And then 11X Perry now takes the top spot away. Broxman now back to second, Malicote in third, then it's McBurney. Malicote looks to the inside, now McBurney, or now Malicote to the second spot. Crossover move, Broxman back to second. Broxman was sitting on it, waiting for it. Meantime, Tom Perry Jr., the 11X, is pulling away each and every time around the track. Broxman running second. Your third spot, Malico. It's 11s first through third. They'll head it down into one and two. TBJ into the back straight. TBJ down the back straight away in the race lead. You've got Ethan Rockman, the 111 in second. Then it is the 11 of Malico in third. This time by five down, three to go. Four. TBJ, Tom Berry Jr., Rockma, Malico, then it's McBurney. And then it is the 18, or then it's the 20 of Schmidt and the 18K of Clint as they run the speed away. This time off of four, we'll see the green going high. Two to go for TBJ. Big Bernie inches up on the back bumper of Malico. That's shaping up to be your race right now. That is for the number three spot. Out in front, Tom Barry Jr. says, see you later. I'm out of here. He's going to put it in a three and four. White flag this time at the line. Uh, TBJ will lead him to the white flag in one lap to go. It'll be the 111 of Eth uh, Broxma. In third is Malico. Here comes McBurney looking to the inside of Malico down in one and two. Can't get it done down in one and two. Off of turn number four. The north around here to Queen turn number four is TBJ. Tom Berry Jr., your winner. Second will go to Ethan Broxma. In third, Isaac Malico. Fourth to Dave McBurney. Then it is Brandon Smith at 20. Cleanse the 18K. Seven Chevrolet of Tierman in the 40 RC of Ron Clement. Let's move to our Mid States Boring Heat race number three. That is going to be Chase Weimer, the 19S on the Outside of row one, Todd, shoot the five to the inside. Row number two, it's the minions, the flying minions of Uncle Ronnie, Ronnie Loritzen in the 10K from LaPorte City, and outside of him from Grundy Center, the 268, Joel Rust. Zachary Madrid, the 5M, is inside row number three with Kelly Shryock, the three. The 34 is Cody Appleback from Burnett, Wisconsin, and the 22B is Brian Epper from Ogden, your final starter. Here's the 23 from LaPorte City, Owen Clark. That's going for your tire demon by Love Tap by UFC Modified Heat Race number three. Get $1,500 to win tonight in the Modifieds. A fast Shafts All Star Invitation Qualifier. This will qualify them for a chance to qualify for the All-Star Invitational at Super Nationals. The stock car winner tonight will automatically be qualified and put into the All-Star Invitational for the BB Chassis All-Star Invitational. Roddy, is that time already to put your goggles on? Time to uh, add a, another layer of protection there. The goggle time. Don't worry, your wife might say you still can't hear clear, or see clearly even with them on. Looking for the green off of four. We go racing off of four. It'll be the 19S of the chase. Weimer in the 19S leading, but nope, it's going to be shoot leading off a two. Weimer sits in second. Here comes Rust in the 26J. Rust will look down into the number two spot. Off a turn number four. Give it to Rust, but then Weimer back to third. 
Ron Lorenzen, Madrid and Shryock battling it out there as well. There now will join the battle with Chase Weimer in the 19S. Todd Shute in the five, going to the high side of turn number four. He'll rip it down the front straight away. Joel Russ is in the number two spot. They work it around down on the bottom. Weimers is sitting third, Shryock fourth, and Madrid as after that. Shoot your leader with Rust in second, and back in the third spot is that three of uh, Kelly Shryock. And then it's the 19S of James Weimer. 10K of Uncle Ronnie, Ronnie Lorenzen in that 10K car. We'll work their way around right now. He's going to side by side with Zachary Madrid in that 5M machine. Off of turn number four. We'll have four down, four laps to go. The battle starts in third on back from there. Your front two have plenty of recent room. Shryock holds the three spot. And then a gap back to fourth now. That is Weimer as they run through three and four. Your leader at the line another time. Shoot your leader at the line with three laps to go. Then you have Russ the 26J and Shryock in the three. Back there in that four spot though. It is Weimer. Uncle Ronnie, Ronnie Lorenzen in the car with the minions on the side of the car. Your race leader, and the green goes high, two to go. Oh, Uncle Ronnie got a little crossed up. Applebeck had to check up. We'll see the caution comes out. Applebeck is trying to get out of the way. He will move it down to the infield. He'll stay out of harm's way. We will stay green. White flag is up, one to go for Todzilla. One more time around for Todd Shute, the five car. He'll take it around the bottom of one and two. Look to the back straight away. Joel Russ sitting comfortably in the number two spot. Shryock, the three in third as they make their way around for the last time. Here in heat race number three, give the win to the five of Todd Shoot. Joel Rust in the number two spot, Kelly Shryock indeed finishing third. First of four heat races to believe in your Wild Thing Big A Tire Center IMC Hobby Stocks. And scheduled to be on the pole will be the 22 from Scranton. That is Seth Butler. Outside of him is the flying fireman, Calvin Don't, out of Kellogg in the 69. Sam West, the 47SW Ferguson Freight Train, inside row number two. And Bobby Heidesack, the 16 from Bedford. Braden Farney in the seven out of Marshalltown. The 29 of Jake Nelson out of Newton, Iowa. Cody Williams is the 77 out of Minneapolis, Kansas in row four. Matt Nelson out of Ankeny, the 78 in to his outside. Top five now, five the magic number. Five going to the A main, everybody else will go to a B to get to the chance to get to the tonight's A main event for your hobby stocks. First of four heat races in the mention in your Wild Thing IMC hobby stocks. Some might be wondering why we call them the Wild Thing hobby stocks. I really don't know the name behind it. I remember hearing it. Denny and Toby always calling that back in the day here at Marshalltown Speedway many, many moons ago, as I would say. Uh, they would always call it the Wild Thing Hobby Stocks. Of course, back in my day, Rodney, I remember there was one Hobby Stock feature, and all of a sudden there was two, then it was three, then it was like four, then it was five, then it was six. So, Hobby Stocks became a very, very popular class. Well, it was, at that time, it was more, uh, you could find the parts at the parts store. Well, you know, so, he's bringing a little water on the bottom side of the speedway, trying to control that, and they'll run a lap or a few laps around the bottom, trying to work that in a little bit here as well. You know what that means? This is a great time to go pick up that t-shirt or hoodie. It's also a great time to go down to the area and get some food, because I can tell you the line is not very long down there. Do they deliver? Uh, no, but we get food after the races are over. All right, I'll try to hang on. I'm pretty sure you can hang on, especially when you're going to be going in there anyways to get, you know what, out of the office. Hey, Kenny's up here laughing. Pastor Kenny is up here laughing. He says call an Uber. You already ditched the goggles. You're fighting the goggles tonight.
They're watching up at 141 Speedway up there at the uh, left turn lounge. In case you wanted to know, Rodney, they're watching us up at the left turn lounge at 141 Speedway. Kicking back, having some drinks, and then eating some wonderful food at 141. Go fast, turn left. Let's see, I don't want to forget the Brad, the, the, the Brad it says the Brit Blue Crew are tuning in again tonight. So he says the Brit Blue Crew is checking in once tonight. As opposed to checking in about five times a night. But the Brit Blue Crew is apparently checking in. I don't know if they're hiding out in the basement or they're they're actually downtown Brit. I don't know where they're hiding up tonight. But well, the important thing is they're checking in and they're, they're watching. They're checking in, so I know at least they're they're still sober enough yet. But again, run through our sponsors, Hy-Vee Food Stores. A great Hy-Vee Food Stores. I know this weekend they got a BOGO sale going on. Buy one, get one free going on at Hy-Vee this weekend. So looking for some groceries, maybe go to Hy-Vee Food Stores and for the BOGO sale. O'Reilly Auto Parts, Night Sanitation, off Villa Bank, Central State Bank. Horse Light and Miller Light, H&F Distributing. Pressure Trucking, Spot On Calibration and Repair. Local UAWA 93. IBW Local 204, Independent Auto, Big A Tire Center, Mid-State Boring, RBF Electric, KFJV 1230 AM at uh, 93.9 on the FM dial. All right, it was Best Country Kicks 101.1. Don't forget to listen Friday mornings. You'll hear Jerry sometime from the 8 to 8.30 hour uh, time slot on I was Best Country Kicks 101.1 with Justin, Brandon, and Kat on the morning kickstart. Yeah, he's power, professional power washing, Velocity, Carl Chevrolet, Carl Customs. 141 Speedway, our sister racetrack up at 141, where they're watching up at the left turn lounge tonight. The joy of the seating, Tom Cap, Formance, Elkquist, Towing Gate Company. Fast shafts, the fastest drive shafts in the racing industry. Okay, so I gotta ask, energy drinks or how much caffeine today? I had two Diet Pepsis today because that's what I had for sodas, but. Well, as the lips are moving a little faster than normal, it seems like tonight. So I just had to ask. I'm looking at the flagpole, and there's less wind out there tonight. Hey. So it's not as cold, and I have not put on the last layer that I have tonight. Let's put it that way. I can still feel my feet at this point in time, too. Yeah, it is harder to talk when you can't feel your lips. It does present a problem. Quick performance. So looking forward to a brand new rear end. Uh, uh, check out the crew at Creek Performance, also Victory Fuel, the official Victory Light sponsor, also selling you the Victory Fuel down at the beer stand. Flow Racing, the official live streaming partner. So if you're tuning in on Flow, we thank you for tuning in on Flow. DNA Outdoor Services, Stensland Farms, so 1-800 bets off. Sports betting a problem, no judgment, just help. 1-800 bets off. Fox, man, we had a birthday to pass along that I haven't done yet. Well, Todd Tarhoon celebrating 38th birthday today. Reagan it, says happy birthday. His daughter said Reagan says. Happy birthday, Dad. So happy birthday, Todd, down there. 38 years old. I'm not quite there yet. I still got a couple more years yet to go to that. Well, actually, a year, a uh, year and a half still to go. No comment. As my friend out in Michigan, Chris Myler, is sitting out there watching, he says, I'm 38 today today. No, you're not, Chris. You're 42. I know how old you're today. Martin Marietta, p and &E Welding Solutions, United Rentals, Stealth Racing, also Kellogg Lawn and Snow, the grasshopper. You're looking for a mower because you're going to need that mower here soon to mow in some grass. See the great career from Kellogg Lawn and Snow. Uh, grasshopper, Jana Fabrications, Trick Car Racing Products, Rugged Radios, The Toy Scout, BW Outdoors, Camp Chef, Tardy Made by Love Tap, La Carreta, Mexican Authentic Grill, Drew Ariana, Wilder, and Truck Repair, Performance Bodies, Aid Parts, Smoke Race Field, Precision Inc. Hey, you want to sponsor Turn 2? There's no sponsor in Turn 2. Looking for a sponsor? Perfect time to sponsor that turn, too. Give Jerry a call. Jerry will be more than gladly to sell you a billboard down there. you got Toby Case Hideaway, North Third Avenue, Jerry Queen, and Marshalltown. And you've got a Team Elite, Castrol, Long Anchor, and a Chevrolet Performance. And next week, Rodney, we're celebrating its 60 years of racing here at Marshalltown. We're going to win the 60th 
season opener here at the Marshall Town Speedway. This racetrack opened up in 1964, and we'll have our 60th year of racing next Friday night to kick off the weekly racing. We do go to the regular season. Points come into play next week. So Mother Nature permitting. I, I heard a really, really ugly word for the end of next week. Yeah, I saw that at the beginning of the week, too. That S, S at the front, the that, W at the back. That's why I said it might be the perfect time to go get that uh, grasshopper lawnmower because you might need it after that rain that we get on Monday and Tuesday and Wednesday. You might need that grasshopper mower because you're going to need it eventually here soon. If it, yeah, the, if we do get the rain, you bet. This the first time the sun comes out, that grass is going to be in need. I do, of know, I do know Dad pulled the, the art riding lawnmower out of the shed today. He was kind of doing a little work on it this afternoon when I left. I was thinking it was just time to let the snowblower run out of fuel and move it to its summer position. But yeah, we're still we're still in the month of April, so you might be prepared for everything here. Because it is Iowa. It's like hold your beer. Next time you check the weather, it might be 80 degrees, but then two days later it's 40 degrees and getting something out of the sky. Eight laps set to be your distance. Heat race number one. I am saying Hobby Stocks brought to you by Big 8 Tire. So I know Mike Duffy's not here at the races. He's watching with JR tonight. So hi, Duffy and JR. Oh, I got the response back from the Brick Brew Crew. They're rocking it out in the basement, listening to, the, listening to you guys. They did say we got amazing voices, Rodney, so there's a compliment for you. Take any compliment we can get. Also, my friends in Michigan, and again, message. Lacey go, his wife Lacey goes, thanks for reminding him how old he is. He <laughs> messages to go, I'm 38. You've started something there now. Oh, that debate's been going on all day long. I like how you start it, throw a little fuel on the fire, and then get out of the way. I always do that, and that's what's always fun. Just working some of that moisture in we just put down, trying to give them the best racing surface we can. As your hobby stocks get set to go to work, Seth Butler and Calvin Don't will be the front row when we uh, get them in that formation. One thing I can tell is the 50-50 tickets are still on sale. And I see Sheila walking over there with some of those 50-50 tickets. Yes, I believe I got a text about that, too. Hang on. I mean, you can actually check your phone. Multitasking. Scotty Ellis is watching from home, so hi, Scotty. Wish you're out here in your own hobby stock. All right, last call for the 50-50 is going to come with the Mod Light feature. Mod Light feature will be last call for the 50-50. It has now reached $300 and still going up. So get in on that. The 50-50 is available. Again, last call will be the Mod Light feature. Oh, all right, looks like they're gonna get the one to go sign. We're gonna go eight laps of distance here in your wild thing on UMC Hobby Stocks. Number one here, presented by Big A Tire Center. It'll be uh, Seth Butler in Caledon in row number one. Sam West and Buddy Hassock in row number two. Rated Farney and uh, Jake Nelson in row number three. Cody Williams and Matt Nelson in row number four. This heat race is for drunk girls, so drunk girl, get your drink up and ready to drink the drink at home as we get ready to go green off of four. Green flag is out. Here we go. 
It is three wide and down into one and two. West is using that moisture on the bottom. Butler and it don't work in the middle on the higher lane on the speedway. Butler works the middle. Butler's going to slide it up. Can't shut the door. It will be the flying fireman. Calvin, don't your leader like number one. Little kiss on the front fender there from the flying fireman as he goes by. Butler trying to battle back in the number two spot. Sam West is down on the bottom. His company to the high side is Hydesack. Here we come out of turn number four. Don't will bring him in. Butler chasing from second. Don't your leader in that 69. In the second spot is the 22 of Butler. Then it is Sam West at 47 SW. He's trying to work by Buddy Havasek in the 17. Havasek right now holds that second spot. Here comes the 77. Cody Williams, a 71, a 77 car, picked up the feature win last night. He's putting Lightning McQueen. He's trying to go. Kachow is way to the front. Right across the nose of the 29 of Jake Nelson. They all managed to keep it pointed the right direction. But this one's not done. Oh, as soon as I say that, we got a wobble. That's the freight train jumping the tracks. Freight train got off the train track there in the 69 of Calvin. Don't the 22 of Seth Butler. Then it is Hattestick in the 17, but he's got company last night's winner. Cody Williams of 77 out of Minneapolis, Kansas. Looking to the inside off of turn number two. He'll put Lightning McQueen, a 77 car now, into the number three spot. It's still the flying fireman, Calvin Don't your leader. Seth Butler, the 22, but now Cody Williams in the Lightning McQueen, a 77, your top three. Calvin Don't showing the way. The 69 hits the back straight away. Butler, the closest to him, that's the double deuce. A big gap then back to Williams. The 77 is holding third, fourth. Hedesack is there, and Nelson, your final transfer spot. That's Jake Nelson in the 29. Right now, off run. Here, 69 Calvin down the 22 Butler. Then it is a 77 of Williams. Hedesack and Nelson now piling it out for the fourth spot on the speedway. This time by, I see that white cloth coming off of the flag stand. It means one lap to go for the flying fireman Calvin Doe, the 69, and Seth Butler, the 22. Your front three running single file and a lot of space in between them. The battle is back for that number four spot. You've got three cars there. Farney now throws it on the bottom, tries to slide it up, couldn't get her there. So picking up the win, Calvin Don't the 69 in the top spot. Seth Butler finishing second. Cody Williams, the 77, rounds out your top three. Heat race number two, and you begin to center IMC Hobby Sacks with 83X. It's Justin Frederick from Claycorn, Iowa. The 214 from Salix, Iowa. That is a Wayland Bruno in the T4, uh, 214. Brent Peterson out of Des Moines, the 2P inside the next row back, and it's Mr. Blue Oval, Andy Peck in the 17. 59 Junior is J uh, Chad Rickett. That's Who's Your Daddy, Chad Rickett Junior in the 59 to Junior. And outside of him is Squishy from Benburn. That is Solomon Bennett. Aiden LeMasters, the 17T out of Marshalltown, and Dustin Falloon, your driver from Tama, the 51X. We actually swung by the 11B pit tonight. They were actually there this time. That threw us off because they weren't in their normal spot, and all of a sudden there they were, so. So we walked by their pit tonight, so. You want to get into blue? You want to get into the Ford debate? Go to Andy Peck. He he'll gladly get into the Ford Chevy debate with you. Here we go. Hobby stocks coming to a green flag. The two fourteen will jump out there the first time by. That is Wyland Bruno. Bruno to the lead. All right, now it is that two one four. Uh, Bruno, your Larry Sleater. Back in that second spot of the 11B is Squishy Solomon Bennett. He had the 11B. And it is a 51X. Up at Dustin Falloon. In the third spot, the 17 80 Peck sitting in that four spot on the speedway. Then it's Frederick the 83X right now as uh, LeMaster's going around over to turn number two. Dustin Falloon started at the back of the field. It's taken him two laps to get to the number three spot. Out in front. Still making the way is Bruno, the 214, Solomon Bennett, the 11B out of Minburn, trying to run down your leader, but he's got Falloon on his back door. Oh, well, Bruno got a little off a of turn. Oh, he got that one crossed up a couple times, kept it going in the right direction, though. That allowed Squishy Solomon Bennett to get closer and closer. Falloon is back there in the third spot. 
with the 214 better get to turn two this time without uh, going sideways because here comes Squishy. Squishy is trying to squish his way to the lead. Uh, Solomon Bennett, the 11B, running on the low side. He'll stick his nose out. He wants the front. He's going to go. He'll get it there. The 11B of Bennett, that time your leader at the line. Bruno now second. Dustin Flume now. He'll still track from the number three spot. Oh, right now it's Squishy Solomon Bennett, your leader, Bruno, in the second spot. In the third is Flume, the 51X, just in front of the 83X, and it's the 17 of 80 back here, top five on the speedway. Hoosier Daddy Chadrick and Jr. pushing the limits on the high side in turn two. Went off the top. He'll keep it moving. We'll stay green on the racetrack. But right now it's Squishy, Solomon Bennett, Bruneau. Then it is Falloon and Frederick. Falloon's going to throw it into the bottom of three and four. Can't get enough in front to pull the slide job, so he'll fall back in line. Now the 83X of Justin Frederick. Frederick is joining the fun. Falloon gets the back end loose in one and two. Frederick goes to the high side. That's your battle for the number three spot down the back straight away. Here comes your leader off turn number four, the 11B, Solomon Bennett. The big white bed sheet is out. Oh, the bed sheet, white flag bed sheet is out indeed. It'll be the 11B of Solomon Bennett, your leader, down off at of turn number two. In that second spot, it is the 214 of Waylon Bruno. But off of four, it will be squishy. Solomon Bennett, the 11B. The 214 of Waylon Brunel comes home second. Dustin Falloon in third. Fourth will go to the 17 of Andy Peck. And then it is the 83X of Justin Frederick running out your top five. Well, there's going to be a good Facebook post for the 11B. Taking it home in the top spot. So it sounds like we're going to have a moment in the pit area. It sounds like the ambulance is going to be heading over pit side. So give us a few minutes here on the racing surface. So perfect time to go down the test and get yourself something to eat something to drink real quick as uh, we'll be getting ready to go with the third hubby stock heat race event coming up here. Also, not only watching, but Duffy and JR is also Angie, Duffy's wife, and Anita.